An attorney files two documents in court, then charges the client $1 million. Does that seem unreasonably excessive? The Ninth Circuit considered that million-dollar question in Brobeck, Flager, and Harrison v. Telex Corporation. We'll call the parties Brobeck and Telex. In 1972, Telex sued International Business Machines, or IBM, in federal court, alleging antitrust violations. The district court awarded Telex nearly $260 million on its claims and awarded IBM nearly $22 million on IBM's counterclaim. But then the Tenth Circuit reversed the Telex judgment and affirmed most of IBM's counterclaim. The Tenth Circuit judgment threatened to bankrupt Telex. Telex chairman of the board, Roger Wheeler, determined that the best course of action was an appeal to the United States Supreme Court. Wheeler wanted the best Supreme Court antitrust lawyer available. After a search, Wheeler settled on Moses Lasky of the Brobeck firm. After an exchange of phone calls, Wheeler flew to San Francisco with Telex's president and company lawyer to meet with Lasky about retaining him. During the meeting and afterward, Lasky and the Telex officers negotiated what ultimately became a contingency agreement with floors and ceilings based on various possible results. If Lasky submitted a petition for a writ of certiorari and the parties subsequently settled, Lasky's fee was to be the first 5% of any gross recovery, but at least $1 million. Lasky prepared and filed the cert petition, and Telex began settlement negotiations with IBM. Wheeler periodically called Lasky for advice. After IBM filed its opposition to the cert petition, Lasky, at Telex's request, prepared and filed a reply brief. When it seemed that the Supreme Court was about to decide whether to take the case, Telex and IBM settled. IBM released its counterclaim judgment in exchange for Telex dismissing its cert petition. At Wheeler's request, Lasky withdrew the petition, then sent Telex a bill for $1 million. When Telex refused to pay, Brobeck sued. The district court awarded summary judgment to Brobeck, and Telex appealed to the Ninth Circuit.